Hi guys, I just wanted to do this this video um, because there's a lot of contention about my Far Cry Primal review. I haven't done a comments video as such. I was going to do one, but I thought it'd be better to just address a few things. So this should answer your Primal questions. Um, why did I thumb the game up? Because I like it. Simple as that. Um, I'm enjoying it. What am I enjoying about it? Uh, the beast mastery and the bow and arrow combat. I don't know what there else is to add to that really. I mean, I'm just really enjoying I didn't like it at first when I first started playing the game. I couldn't get used to the bow and arrow combat because the way the mouse moved when you were zoomed in, it just was so sluggish. And it did take an hour or so to get used to it. Also, I didn't have a beast and I didn't like the game. And that kind of shows clearly in my playthrough that I've started editing for my other channel. And you can actually see, if you watch that, that I'm just slagging the game off because I didn't like it. It just felt more of the same. It kind of depends on what you want. I mean, I make no secret that I, I've always liked the Far Cry series of games. They appeal to me because it's a living, breathing world. Um, I, I like it. I, Far Cry 4 was going downhill, but Far Cry 3 was just amazing. I love that game. Far Cry Primal is not game of the year by any means. It's not going to win game of the year. No way. It has a lot of flaws in it. Um, the whole outpost thing, I don't like that they've just copied and pasted the whole out. They need to get rid of all of that because they've done it to death and I'm sick of it. Can't they just be a bit more innovative? I mentioned this in the video, but you know what? I can, I can put up with a bit of shit providing the vast majority of the time I'm having fun. I play games to have fun. You know, that, that's why I play computer games, to have fun, and I'm having fun. Normally when I finish a review, I just put the game down and move on, but with Far Cry, I was kind of like, oh, I want to go back in, I want to I wanna do more, I want more of this, it's fun. Um, and it was the whole creeping around with me saber-toothed tiger or me, me Black Panther pet, me Black Leopard or whatever the hell it is, just seeing things happening in front of you and sneaking up and then saying to your pet, you take him, I'll take him, and coordinating an attack, whether it be an all-out carnage or a, a sly little stealthy one, picking the, the guy off the back of the queue. It's, it's the, like, there, was, there was a bit that I didn't show in the video where I was following a tribe. of There was about six of them. They'd been out hunting, and they were walking up this hill, and I was killing the guy at the back. You know, like in the old Tarzan films where there'd be a line of natives carrying shit and the one at the end would get killed. I was doing that and the others didn't know because I was taking them down so silently. It was f***ing awesome. Really enjoyable gameplay. And it's just stuff like that. Like there's a shot at about nine and a half minutes in the video where I'm taking over this area, this mining area, and I killed three guys without anybody even knowing I was there, but I got spotted after that and they all came after me. So it's it's good. Somebody said that the, the AI is terrible. It's not. It's f***ing good, the AI. I'll tell you why it's so good. When you are spotted, they don't f*** about like in Tomb Raider, and they spot you from miles away. Nine times out of ten, right, when I'm playing this game, I'm spotted before I spot them and it's kind of unnerving because the foliage is so high I'm like how the hell did you see me and when they see you depending on their class if they are a, um, a, a ranged class they'll just start peppering you with spears and arrows but they don't just stand there like a dick when you're aiming at them they will move they will sidestep so you've got to re-get your aim you have about a second and a half to zero in on them and you've got to decide whether you can get to that head shot or whether you just have to go for a plain safe body shot because you know they're going to move and you, but you don't know whether they're going to go left or right. They move. They are intelligent. And the worst ones are the ones that run at you because they don't just run in a straight line. Some of them do when they get close, but from a distance they don't. And the animals, they run round you in a circle. They're looking for a... And you're like tracking them and it's like, you know, hell. They, they, they just go around you so fast and they just come in for the kill. The AI is brilliant. It's the best Far Cry AI that I've seen in this game. It really is. But I don't want to go into a review. I'm just answering questions that people have posted about, about stuff like that. Then there's this huge map debate. Oh, Mac, it's the same map from Far Cry 4. No, it isn't. How... How... How ridiculous are people that I could even tell looking at the screenshots that it wasn't the same map. It might be the same template, but it's not the same map. I played Far Cry 4. 
uncovered a lot of the, the world. I played Primal and uncovered a lot of the world. I never got deja vu once. I never saw anything at all in Primal that I thought, hang on a minute, I've been here before in Far Cry 4. There's nowhere, nowhere did that actually happen to me. Um, it was all, it might have well as been on planet Jupiter because I've never been in this world before and yet I've played Far Cry 4 but I've never been in the, the world of Far Cry Primal. Just because they used the base template is irrelevant. That happens all the time in things, not just in games, in loads of stuff. I use it myself when I'm doing a video. I use a base template, but all my videos are different. It's, it's, it's bollocks. All the, what they've done is, they've got the original map, the film, right? It's got a river run, flowing through. We'll, we'll leave that with, they haven't even left that. They've changed the river, they've widened it, they've changed its path, they've lengthened it. Tell you what, if it's the same, Where's all the video footage of somebody in the same area saying, hey look, hey look, that's the same as that. There is none and there never will be because it's just not the same map. It's as simple as that. So, you know, if I knew about this, somebody emailed me um, about 12 hours before my, uh, oh, 12 hours, six hours, I don't know, I wasn't going to be watched, but I got emailed before I released my worth of buy. Someone says, hey Mac, Rip this fucking game apart. Look at this, what I found. And they showed me this the, this comparative screenshot between the two maps. And I didn't even need to look at it for long. I could tell just at a glance that it was a different map. And from playing the game as well, obviously, I knew that it wasn't true anyway. Um, yes, they may have used the base template, but so what? People use base templates for stuff all the time. That doesn't mean a thing. You know, that we probably using it for the dimensions more than anything but well wow so what so so the fact that the river runs through the same place is that a game breaker but if they moved the river say I don't know half a mile to the to the west that would make it all right it's it's bullshit man. It's, it's absolute bullshit it, it doesn't have any bearing at all on, on the game then we had the club swinging or, or something the melee combat was just garbage apparently well I don't know because you saw me club that rhino that attacked me when I was trying to steal that node uh, and then there was two wolves just came out of nowhere and attacked us and I was swinging the club wildly. That is I think the only time I've ever used the club because I'm having so much damn fun with the bow and arrow and there's other weapons like the slingshot. It doesn't appeal to me swinging a club, uh, I'm sneaking around. In crouching around in, in the shadows with my pet just taking people's heads off with me poor arrow it's there you go now if you are not into that and you are into clubbing rather than bone arrowing and the clubbing is bad then I do see your point but remember this is my opinion and I'm loving the bone arrow in fact if it was the only weapon in the game I'd be happy because it's so much fun it's I mean, I'm a caveman, you know. I am actually a caveman in this game. And I'm using what cavemen have. The spear, for example, I, I like the spear, but I've only ever thrown the spear. I've never actually poked anything with a spear. Um, I've only, like, threw it. I threw it at the bear that you see in the clip, but I think the bear just died before it hit, so. But I've also thrown the spear into someone's forehead <laughs> in, a, in a fight, which was hilarious. So that's all I've really done, throw stuff, because when I think of cavemen, I, I don't actually think of them clubbing, even though that was probably what they did more than anything. But I'm just, I've been given a bow and arrow, I'm, I'm making a long bow, and yeah. So I can't really say that that is an issue for me. Uh, and if the combat is bad with a club, it's still not an issue for me because I don't actually use the club. The tagging was another thing people talked about with extra revision, but it's not even enabled. Um, you have to enable that. So actually, I'm, I'm un, I, I've disabled a lot more stuff in my hood, and I'm bumping the difficulty up to hard uh, as I continue to play this game because it was too easy. Um, even on, on like normal game, it's it's too. I think games uh, are now. It's not like the were when I was younger. That when I was younger, normal was pretty pretty tough. Easy was easy and hard was absolutely ridiculous. Now, I think it's all moved a notch. I think hard is the new normal. Um, another thing on the subject of buying it, um, there was two minutes cut out of my worth of buy. I cut it out at the last second because I knew I would get hammered if I put it in. And it was, a, it, 
what I actually said to sum up the game was something along the lines of I don't think this is worth £40 and I still don't but I didn't pay £40 for it I paid 30 because I bought it um, off Green Man Gaming for 25% off because it's on special at the minute and even when it comes off special you can use my code and get 20% off and what I actually said at the end of my video is that it's worth it for that price now I pulled all that out because I knew if I said that I'd get hammered and being told that I was just a sellout and I couldn't be asked with it. I really couldn't be asked with going through all that bullshit and it's a shame because the whole point of my channel is to help people decide what games to buy and where to buy them to get the best deal. I'm all about trying to save people money and yet I'm finding that I'm having to be careful about saying stuff that's helping people. I mean I've pretty much, I think there's hundreds and hundreds of games being sold uh, from Green Man Gaming since I started my affiliate program with them and I have i can't tell you how many emails I've had from people who say you know what you've just you've saved me a fortune because I buy all my stuff and normally they would buy from Steam and they are now saving like 20% on pretty much everything I mean Super Hot for example uh, I'm reviewing that either tomorrow or the, or the weekend and it's it's what 17 pound I got mine for 12 off Green Man Gaming using my uh, the link in the description and then using my voucher. And when I review it, I would normally review it and just say, look, it's 16, 17 pound, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna actually review it for the first time and I'm gonna say, because I thought about this today and I'm, it, I'm gonna just say, look, I'm reviewing this as if it's 12 pound because that's how much it is. Uh, you can get it for £12 on Green Man Gaming, so why should I review it as a £17 game when you can clearly get it for 12 And if people want to call me a sellout, well, just I'll just ban you, but call me a sellout. But, you know, I'm not a sellout. I'm, I'm doing this to save you guys money. I mean, the amount of money I get anyway from this is so mi microscopic that to get any kind of significant cash, I'd need 90,000 people, every sub I've got, to buy it. You know, so I'm, it's not like you know you know seriously I mean people even said with Far Cry Primal that I mean I banned them immediately there was three people I banned this morning because they said you've um, obviously been bribed by Ubisoft I don't know anybody from you I'll talk to anybody from any any of these big companies you know that would be interested in no one's ever gonna offer me money they know fine well what will happen if they do you know I don't believe any of them I, you know what it goes on I know it goes on because Total Biscuit exposed it and a, a couple of others have, have been caught taking bribes. I know these big companies do it. I'm not saying Ubisoft do it, but I know some big companies do it. And to do that, they must have absolute 100% trust because can you imagine the shitstorm if it kind of got out? I mean, do you honestly believe that they're gonna look at me? Because they're gonna do some research. They start watching my videos. They know what I'm like. You can anybody can see what I'm like by by my videos. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, if the product's bad, I don't care who it is or how big or how many solicitors they've got. I'll rip it apart. So they they're not gonna look at someone like me and say, "Oh, that Mac guy. I bet he would take a bribe." They're gonna look at me and they're gonna say, "Whatever you can do, do not offer that." Their money because he'll make a video before the fucking inks dry on the check exposing the corruption because I would and so it annoys me when people think that I would even take a bribe because I'm like god how can you think so stupidly I'm the last person that would ever take a bribe I don't care how big it was I don't I, honestly it's it's ludicrous it's laughable and yet Yet it, yet it happens. You know, if, if I thumb down a AAA game, I'm a bastard. If I thumb up a AAA game, I'm a bastard. I can't win either way because everybody out there thinks, oh, he must have been bribed. Oh, you just hate all AAA games. It's clickbait. It's, I can't win. And I understand that and I just accept that. That's just part and parcel of what I do, you know. Um, but bribing is, that's slander. You know, I don't like that at all. I don't like people there's not one shred of evidence on any video that I've ever done that even looks suspicious. It's just kind of, you know, check me play history. You can see how much I loved Far Cry 3. You know, I did a full playthrough on the other channel. 
uh, you're going to see a full playthrough well not a full playthrough it has a few holes in it but you're going to see a hell of a lot of videos from this one on the other channel do you think i'd do that if i didn't like the game i'm not some kind of sadomasochist that oh i love to play shit games because they bore the f out of us so yay let's sink 30 40 hours into them you know it's, and it's got nothing to do with it being first person there's loads of first person games i f***ing hate i mean rainbow six was a first person game from ubisoft and i, I didn't like that and then you've got third person games that I apparently hate and I thumbed up Just Cause 3 which is a triple A third person game. You see, there's, I mean someone today, I just replied to them, says, oh Mac, you just love Ubisoft, you thumb up all Ubisoft games. Really? I ripped the shit out of the crew. I just f***ing ripped over Tom Clancy's The Division just last f***ing week. That's Ubisoft. Honestly, these people are just, they're honest, they're just full of f***ing shit. They really are. And it's, it's just annoying and it's not just them, there's other games from Ubisoft. Rainbow Six was Ubisoft, didn't like that, that got a thumb down. You know, it's 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 bollocks, man. It's, I don't know, uh, I don't know why people can't just say, hey, you know what, maybe Mac likes this game because it's good. There's always gotta be some kind of, oh, you don't like, I don't like the Tom Clancy's The Division because it's third person. No, I don't like Tom Clancy's Division because it's fucking shit, that's why running down corridors of buildings that you can't even enter. Why do people think there's some ulterior motive? Oh, Mac like this, he was bribed. <coughs> you know, no, Mac like this because it's a good f***ing game. You know, it, it's just... Ah, oh, it, it's it's so f***ing annoying at times, it really is. But it's, it's what I've got to put up with. But I just ban people. That, so anybody who even suggests that I take money. It'll be the last comment you ever make on my channel because I don't suffer fools at all. I just don't. You're off. You're gone at the end. Of I just don't want you around. I, you know, I, I just, I like reading the comments, but I don't like reading slanderous ones. By all means, tell me my review shit. I don't give a f about that. It would be nice if you posted why, but you know, without making shit up like most people do but you know don't start getting personal with us because if you do you'll just be thrown out of the channel uh, well you'll not be thrown out you don't get banned so i'll still get your clicks thanks but you're just not allowed to comment anymore because you're not worthy you can't just come onto my channel and think you have every right to say what you want that's the trouble with the internet too many people can say what they want without any kind of accountability well not on my channel you can't if you were going to start and slander me then it will be the last thing you say. It's as simple as that. Criticise my work by all means. I welcome that. But, you know, I'm not criticising any individual people, so you don't criticise me. I'm criticising products. My product is my video. You don't like it? Criticise the video, not me. If that's personal. I won't have that. So there you go, guys. This is my answer to the main critiques of my video. I hope that's set the record straight and you're not going to keep asking me about stuff as i sit here right now i just want to go and play it i haven't played it at all today because i've been so busy editing stuff and that and i'm having withdrawals and i can't play it tonight either because i've got more editing to do tonight and i'm pissed off because i want to play it um and it's not often that happens to me because you, as you know most games that come out i just think of garbage uh, but this one isn't um, like I say, it's not game of the year, but I like it, and I've thumbed it up, and if you don't like that, well, I do apologise. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, Book kook, that's all I've got to say.